You know what? We're supposed to have glass shards, apparently. Um, I guess the lamp's supposed to be broken. And we don't have these things. So fuck. Okay. Uh. God, do this again. <laughs> Did you load from the beginning? No, just the... We can just get through this. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Nothing happened, handsome bird. Hipsters. Hipsters. I accidentally maximized the window. <laughs> Is that gonna fuck with the recording? Yep. Great. What happened? How did I do this? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> okay. Find the craft launcher. Go to R and Go to Le Canard and visit the drinking floor. We uh, but we, it looks like we still need the extractor, so. The investigation ends on Wednesday, February 9th. Okay, so we can meet the croc muncher on the 4th and still do the shit for Mr. Bird. Afterwards. Yes. Okay. Where'd you get that rifle? We've already done all this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. We did it. We just fucked up really badly. Yeah, um, our bird friend's gonna die if we don't uh, do this. Mm -hmm. Spoilers. Spoilers. I, I mean, really, to... we could just cut back into that exact point and have all the glass shards we needed. Yeah, but there are some. I've got a guide up, and there are some things that we missed, I think. Ah, oh, shit. You want- Like, actual... So- Dialogue shit. Okay. What's your job? Just end on that we fucked up and had to go back. <laughs> gotta go back! I'll see it. I'll see it, you're racist. So this guy will do. Could you take a look at this? No. That one. What the fuck? It's poetic. That is all. Goodbye. That took three days, so return to Vulpes. Okay. Hit me with the bad news. Which is not bad news at all, because we have the password. The calendar works out. The only day you can meet with the Croft Muncher is on Friday. But Sunday again. Okay. So we've got five days to do the other stuff. Right. 
So I guess we just go to the doctors and start our other mission. Go to the there. Okay. I'm just gonna follow the guide so we don't fuck up. Okay. Oh yeah. The evidence. But this cult what? is different! <laughs> this cult is nice! I don't recognize him at all. Racist. Goodbye! Oh, we can get the pot. Can we get the pot? We can steal the pot. I mean, does it do anything wrong for us? I don't think so. Go to the rare. Talk about Romeo. Let's get a cold guy. Blah, blah, blah. I'm just gonna buy the two things as well. As far as I can tell, we don't need the money. Okay. The items you need are the Inventor's Explorer Extractor, the Rogan Street Lamp, the Fountain Pen, and the Signed Cult Guide. What if we have one more case after this? Okay, we can probably do the things. Maybe. Yeah, I don't see how we couldn't steal the things in time. Yeah. Yeah. Speed playthrough. The speediest. The speediest. I just gotta keep an eye on the day. But we should be fine. Let's. It's my day right now. We should be good. Dead collector's cough up scumbag. Break his legs, bears. person over there wiggling around. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> He's just like, oh, ah, I'm doing a dance. Oh, it's a little jig. Oh. The chocolate for me. The chocolate for me. <laughs> and we can go to the... We can still go exchange the string, but tomorrow's Friday. We have to go after <laughs> Yeah, I mean. You saved my life. Why not? I have bait. The day of reckoning! Is that him? He is literally a crocodile. He is a crocodile! Is that him? It must be. Excuse me, Monsieur. I don't recognize you fellas. What's the password? The password's Etim. The password, uh... Etim. Zora! No, I took you fellas for verb brain cops, but you actually know the secret password. So what do you want? Well, let's start with introductions. You are the croc, eh, monsieur, are you not? That's the croc, monsieur, to you. Mind you, people always get the pronunciation wrong. Oh, okay. I'm not really hearing the difference. <laughs> In any case, monsieur... Croc, Monsieur. My name is. Don't tell me, you idiot. 
bringing up names can mess up an entire meeting. Why do you think I use an alias? Just tell me what you want. Drugs? Guns? Explosive slaves? Come on, I don't have all day. Chocolate. Well, to be honest, what I really want is... Uh... <laughs> I was like, I can't see. <laughs> we could get him to talk about the rebels. I don't think we need a gun. <laughs> no, I just mean like, what, what? I was just like, is he going to be like mad if we ask? No, let's ask him about the rebels. Yeah. I know you have been supplying weapons to a rebel group. I want to know everything. Who they are. Where they are meeting. What they bought from them. Hey, if I sold out my customers, it wouldn't be good for my reputation now, would it? I suppose that's true. Just kidding. Money beats integrity any day. Pay me 500 francs and I'll give you the dirt. 500 francs for information? That seems a little steep. Steep? This intel is probably worth 50,000 francs to the Parisian police. I'm giving you a bargain. Listen, you pay me the full 500 right now and I'll tell you exactly where and when you can find the rebels. Uh, we don't have that money. We have Definitely 88 not. frogs for him. <laughs> Do you take checks? <laughs> Does he, though? Do you take checks? Very funny. And no, I don't take pocket lid either. It's called hard Napoleon's only. They have Napoleon on their phone? <laughs> well, well, well. Oh my god, it's Coco Pico. Same day, Mayor Dare, it's the fuzz, cheese it! Wait, wait! Monsieur Croc, Monsieur! Come back! Never fear, Falcon, I'll tail the dastardly fellow. Eat him! Don't get too close, Sparrowson. That crocodile's got a gun! What's all this ruckus? Playing cops and robbers, are we, JJ? Are you blind, Severin? That was Croc Monsieur! We were on the crux of extracting some vital information about the rebels, but your smug entrance just ruined everything. Hmm? That was the Croc Monsieur? I would never have guessed. You don't sound very concerned. No, don't get me wrong. I'm quite impressed that you managed to track down such an elusive criminal. But I have something much more pressing that I need to discuss with you. Date? Saturday night? <laughs> more pressing than finding the rebels? Perhaps. JJ, I want you to answer this question sincerely and honestly. Did you go by a different name prior to enrolling at Paris Law School? What? What does that have to do with the rebel investigation? Or to do with anything, for that matter? I would appreciate it if you just answered the question, JJ. I need to hear it from your own beak. Have you ever gone by a different name? He has. But he just didn't like his father. Yes, I'm not going to lie to Coco Pico. I don't deny it. A man has a right to change his name. Indeed, a man does have that right. But why would a man do such a thing? I hate my father. I don't appreciate your accusatory tone. You sound just like the Inspector Volarity. Wait. That's it, isn't it? The Inspector ordered you to dig up some dirt on me, didn't he? Answer me, Severin. What is going on? What did Inspector Volarity say? I was honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that croc can run! No one realizes, but crocodiles can run fast on land. <laughs> it appears that you two are making solid progress with your investigation into the rebel group. I'll be sure to let the inspector know. Where are you going? We haven't finished our discussion, Severin. We have. I've learned what I came here to find out. Good day, JJ. Good day, Sparrowson. What? What is that all about? It doesn't matter. Severin just poking his beak where it doesn't belong. <laughs> Nosy. <laughs> 
So, tell me about your little adventure spells and you lost a crop monsieur, I take it. Uh -huh. He looks like a stumpy reptile, but he ran like a gazelle. I lost him in no time at all. I see. Pat pat. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> With the croc monsieur's lead gone, our investigation has reached a yes. dead end. Okay. No. Not entirely. You dropped something during the chase. You dropped something? What exactly? I'll show you. Follow me. <laughs> Why don't you just pick it up to me? <laughs> I think you need more exercise, Sparrowson. Don't judge me! <laughs> Judging harshly. Ow! 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 Mondo, what is it now? Muscle crap? No, my foot's hurting. I think I got something in my shoe. You guys wear shoes? Well, grit your beak and bear it. This is a brown where you saw the crocodile drop something, right? Yeah, somewhere around here. Then let's put our investigation hats and find whatever it is. I said on the ground. Yeah, this is it. This is the thing the croc monsieur dropped. It's a list. 40 muskets, 20 pistols, gunpowder, 3,000 musket balls. To be delivered to the sleepy city. This is an invoice. I don't see any names on here, but given the contents and quantities, the goods are probably intended for the rebels. Excellent find, Sparrows. It was nothing. But the sleeping city. Where could that be? The catacomb of bones. Well, it's a city that sleeps a lot, so somewhere in Spain would be my guess. I'm pretty sure that the location is not a literal city. For one thing, we already know the city where the rebels are gathering. It's right here, in Paris. The sleeping city is a code phrase, like a riddle. A riddle, hmm? No one sleeps harder than the dead, right? Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, I'm stumped, and humming isn't getting us anywhere. We must find someone who can solve it. I need a person who is knowledgeable about all manner of riddles and puzzles. I know it all, huh? Nathan! <laughs> <laughs> Precisely. In the meantime, I'll file this away for safekeeping. Do you think the croc dropped anything else? Maybe. That lamp is broken. Does that street lamp look broken to you? Yep, I think all the lamps on this street have been vandalized. The ground is covered in glass from the broken panes. Oh, that explains why my foot is hurting. I have shards of glass in it. Wow, you're an asshole for making <laughs> me walk on them. <laughs> it does. There's glass in the sole of my shoe. I must have trodden on some shards while chasing after the croc. Oh no, my good shoes are ruined. I put Don't be mean. <laughs> but I wouldn't say good. You paid 20 cents for them. File this away in the evidence folder. You want me to file away the broken glass? Yep, I'm filing an official formal complaint to the government. Their faulty street lamp has ruined my shoes and I, I'm owed compensation. I think government officials have better things to do than worry about your 20 cent shoes, Sparrowson. We'll just see about that. How much was 20 cents back then? Are you satisfied? We have real evidence to find. Noah's bar. All animals are well. Except mosquitoes. You bloodsuckers can go get your fix someplace else. Noah feels pretty strongly about mosquitoes, huh? 
well, he has a point. I'm not saying all mosquitoes are bloodsuckers, but it's mainly the females. Well, Falcon, keep it classy. I'm just stating facts. Don't be racist. <laughs>